Hey, Comic Book fans, welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer, getting ready to do that all important comic book review so you, the fans, can make a decision what comic books to buy. And today, guys, we're going to be talking about Invincible issue number 123. That's right, everybody. It's a pretty heavy independent week for me. Uh, I'm not going to be reviewing too many of the big two because I didn't feel there was really. So far, the books I read, nothing to really talk about except maybe a Star Wars book I might review, but that's really about it. So a lot of independence books. If you guys want to check out my other reviews on Comic Frontline, I, uh, I did a review on Voltron, uh, issue number one from the Ashes. I've done uh, Tokyo Ghost issue number one, and I also did the Beauty issue number two. So yes, once again, we're going to be talking about today right here. Uh, Invincible issue number 123. Now this uh, could change things for a lot of readers, but uh, if you've invested this much time into the character, um, I don't think you're going to give up this series, but it's interesting to see where it goes. Uh, this book is written by Robert Kirkman. Uh, the artwork is done by Ryan Otley and Cliff Rathburn is the anchor. I've said this time and time again when it comes to Invincible, I feel that his artwork is absolutely tremendous. It's grown since the beginning of his run on this title. Um, I think that the colors uh, on this book uh, by Jane Francis Ballou, is that how you say it, uh, is absolutely gorgeous here. Here we get to see Adam Eve, uh, you know, taking off, needing a day off for herself. Uh, you know, we can see that she's all stressed out. You can see that. The, the anguish in her eyes, the frustration, and, you know. And then you get this cool paneling, and this is not the first time they've done this. They've done this recently in other issues when you want to cover a lot of ground real quick, but there's no real dialogue. But it tells a lot of the story of what goes on in our characters' days, uh, you know. And then we get to see, like, a little um, uh, army shot right there of, a, of uh, Mark's, I guess, um, coalition that's going on or whatever they are and uh, here's a cool uh, one page pin up page there of all the spaceships going out getting ready for battle for tracking down the Voltramite leader which is General Thrag and then here's one other page here so again the book visually is absolutely gorgeous and I love it and it keeps getting better and better so what was this issue about well basically in this issue uh, we find out that Mark is getting ready to go after Voltramite leader, which is General Thrag in the issue. And uh, Adam Eve is very stressed out. She's been, you know, stuck on this brand new planet. There's nothing that she really understands. Uh, she's stuck with the baby while Mark still has his brother and he goes to work every day. And uh, Mark was like, you know what? Before I leave, and I don't have to leave for a little while now, he's like, Adam, Eve, why don't you go out and you know, have a day out on the town. And uh, it was really cool because you get to see a panel of what Adam Eve does and you wind up seeing what Mark does and how he takes care of the baby. And uh, I love it when he calls it Daddy-Daughter Day and uh, he spends the whole day with her, whether it's changing diapers and, uh, you know, daughters sitting there eating comic books or newspapers or whatever it is. Uh, it was just really cool to see what both characters were doing. Uh, you see one intimate night with... Uh, with Eve and Mark in the particular issue uh, before they go off into battle to find General Thrag. Now in this issue we find out that General is missing and uh, we find out that Mark falls down into a hole and he was warned not to go there but it was already too late and he gets sucked up by this bright light and the next thing you wind up finding out is BAM! This is the beginning of the reboot and we see Mark on the toilet and it's back to his early days in high school and uh, it's just funny he goes he goes what the holy shit and he's, she's like mom's like I heard that so now it's back to the beginning and uh, I feel like it's Robert Kirkman's way of making fun of reboots for a comic uh, based off of what Marvel's done and DC's done, and so he's calling this next story arc Reboot. So I feel that this is not a reboot of the whole entire series. I feel like he's going back in time for a short period, and he's going to have to maybe try to correct things or whatever it is, 
but I don't think it's a reboot of the entire series. I just think it's a, a poke and a make fun of in a particular story arc that Kirkman is calling reboot. And I think it's genius, and I think it's a lot of fun. I think to completely start the comic over would be ridiculous. He's done this before where he's called it issue number one, something else, and it was completely off. So... Robert Kirkman likes to do things like this. It will be interesting to see how long Mark is stuck uh, in this timeline and how he gets out and how he deals with all his former friends from the past and everything else. So it's, I think it's going to be quite interesting here. And uh, I always enjoy Invincible. It is one of my favorite books. Um, I think it's brilliant. I love how grounded Mark is. I love the family aspect of it. And it's only gotten better. And I don't think Robert Kirkman really jeopardized the series to call it like a reboot. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think it's just the thing to poke fun of, of Marvel and DC for all the things they've been doing. So uh, I love this book. I'm giving this one a four and a half out of five stars. The only downfall for me is it's a quick read this month, guys. I mean, it is, it is so fast. It's like that other Walking Dead issue. It's like freaking three minutes and you're done. I, but I still love it. I love and enjoy so much of this series. So, again, four and a half out of five stars. Guys, leave me your comments below what you thought of this issue. What do you think of the whole reboot thing? Uh, do you agree with my uh, opinion on this? And fans, as always, thank you for watching Comic Book Corner 2.0. And until the next comic book review, this is Mike Spider-Sir signing off. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Bye.